Hi everyone, this is Brad. Today we're taking a look at Outlook email and more specifically we're looking at calendars and how to add an event and how to accept one. So we're going into the internet. We're going to go ahead into Outlook on the web. We're going to go into the web app and in the upper right corner you're going to see calendar. Now you're going to see it's in the month right now. You could go by week, work week, day. It's up to you. I'm just going to keep it as month. You can also see your calendars over here that you can add on if you'd like to. If you want to remove, you can always remove it this way, or you can come up here and just uncheck. Now, if I'd like to go ahead in and I want to add something on, let's just say Wednesday the um, 29th. So we're going to double click in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say lunch with Mark. Now the location. The location's just going to be faculty room. And the intended, I'm just going to type in Mark. So Mark Keffer comes up right there. You can see the start time. Now it's not going to be all day. We just want it to be, let's just say, for 30 minutes. You want it to start at 12 o'clock. You can always set a reminder if you'd like to for yourself. We'll leave that on there. Okay. Just in case, you can always take a look at what the calendar is that you'd like it to be on and then you could always write something down here as well if you'd like to now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead in and hit send now it's been sent to Mark you can hear that noise Mark has uh, graciously allowed me to go ahead in and use his just to show you what it looks like so if we click if we select in here right away you can accept maybe tentative or decline and it's even telling you that Mark does not have any conflicts at that time. What we're going to do is we're going to accept it. You can see you can edit the response before sending, send it now, or don't send the response. I'm going to, for right now, just for this case, just to show you, send the response. Now, you can hear that I got an email. So I'm going to go into my email. Right here, I can see that Mark has accepted. What I can do also is go into the calendar itself. And here it is. Here is Lunch with Mark. If you want to go in and add anything else that you'd like to, you can certainly do that right in there. I'm just going to close. Actually, I'm just going to close out of here for right now. But you can see it's right there. And your email tells you that it was added. Now, if you want to go in to Outlook on your computer, what you can do is go right in here. In the bottom left, it's where the calendar is there. Again, you can see these options in here. So if I want to go ahead in, I want to remove this calendar. You can see Lunch with Mark is right there. I can remove my Gmail if I'd like to do that as well. And if I want to add one more, what I can do is I can either select right in here. And then right up in here, what I can do is I can say New Meeting. Now what I can do is just type in who's this going to go to. Let's just send this one to Mark again. There he is. Go by last name. Subject, let's just call it again, lunch. Location, faculty room again. Start time is going to be 12 o'clock. Let's say do this one 11.30, 11.30 to 12. And I'm just saying, you know, hi, Mark. And then lunch. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send this. You can see it's not in the calendar folder. Okay, do you want to send anyway? We're going to say yes. You can see it's been added here, the new meeting. Mark just got the email. We'll go ahead in just to show you what it looks like. Here it is. You can accept, tentative, or decline right there. So if we say decline, you can edit the response, send it right away. Show you one more. Here's mine. Again, email is right in here. Select email, and I can see that Mark has declined the meeting. If you do have any questions, please reach out and let me know. Thanks for watching. Take care.